Hi guys, it's me. I am back again with one of my empty box series videos and I'm just showing you some of the things that I pulled out from my box of goodies that I am trying to get down and uh, get down into the box and empty the box by March of 2019. So I will link the video that describes all of the products inside the box at the end of this video. So you can just click on that. There's also information on how to subscribe and, uh, you know, how to get to our website and things like that. But I just wanted to make sure that you got a empty box series before I went out of town. I'm just showing you the sketch that I used there and I didn't follow it to the T, but I drew inspiration from it and I'm still working through that trendsetter collection by Fancy Pants that I decided to grab from my stash and I've been kind of working with that lately, just trying to you know, whittle it down as well, some of my older products. I don't really like that collection that much anymore. It's not my personal aesthetic that much in anymore, but there are ways, even if you have it in your stash and it's not, you know, your flavor <laughs> currently, you can always find fun and unusual ways to use it with cut files or with sketches or to deconstruct it in some way or just use little hints of it, maybe back your entire page with it and just make a frame around your page. I do, I do that sometimes. Um, but I do like this corrugated teal from that collection and there for a while companies were doing that. And I do like the dimension and texture that it creates. It's not very fun to cut out. <laughs> As you can see, I'm struggling there, but I am going to use it to frame that white cardstock. And uh, the white cardstock was close to my heart, 12 by 12 smooth. And um, I'm gonna make sure it's very secure because you know that corrugated card uh, stock is not, it's not completely flat. So I'm gonna use a, a lot of score tape here and just make sure that I secure that down. I did gut it because I do want to, I thought I was going to remember to do this, but I've been so sick lately, I didn't even think. Um, I wanted to pop up the picture um, with some of this corrugated uh, cardstock, but I didn't. I forgot. <laughs> but you can use that if you have some of that in your stash. You know, don't throw it away. You can always use it for dimension underneath a photo or a cluster of photos. And so there are some some fun ideas for you. I also used the banners that were part of this collection. It's just uh, little pull apart banners. And I'm also Let's see, what else did I use from that collection? I think that's it. Yeah. Um, everything else I either pulled from my stash or that box. So the majority is in the box. This little vellum envelope was in the box. Uh, these are some cut apart labels that were in the box from Citrus Twist. I did have this scrap of paper in the box and I just punched it out with a one and a half inch punch. I thought the colors went very well. Still trying to get over this crud, so I should sound decent next week. That I've got to. <laughs> I, I've, I'm on so many meds now, I've got to um, sound better next week for you, so I apologize for that. So. Also in this bottom left hand corner was cut aparts from Citrus Twist as well from that box and another one of those punched uh, circles. And I just fussy cut out those cut aparts. Uh, they had all these triangles and I just left them intact and kind of let it look like a stand instead of cutting it all into triangles. <laughs> and then usually on their cut apart sheets they have some typed text and also um, I fussy cut out those. So I'm not sure when I got that vellum piece that says I want to make beautiful things even if nobody cares, but uh, it was in the box and I want to say it's Maggie Holmes, but I'm guessing. I do know that also in the box was uh, the 2x2 two two 
squares from, uh, it's a Paige Evans, it's Turn the Page. And I just added that to look like a scrap behind my photo and also to give a resting area to some more of those cut apart labels. And this photo is just a picture of one of my favorite things on my desk. It reminds me of Bab. And it is just a fun little panda cup. And I have a couple of sticks of lip gloss and a couple of um, sticks of, oh gosh, why can't I think of the name now? Oh, well, I can't remember the name, but they're watercolor sticks. And uh, I'm always concerned because I'm a lip, uh, lip gloss junkie. And so I'm like, one day I'm going to paint my lips with, with those watercolor sticks. I just know I'm going to. But I haven't yet. I, I catch myself. <laughs> so the stars in the heart enamel dots were from Cocoa Vanilla. And they were in that box. I don't think I end up using the Amy Tangerine ones. That Love Cut Apart does stay crooked. When I glued it down, it kind of wiggled on me a little bit. So I guess it's down. I'm not going to change it now. I'm not sure where the chipboard came from. I want to say it's Citrus Twist as well. The chipboard hearts. And uh, one of them is Pink Fresh Studio. And I think the other ones with just the little glitter dots on it is pink, uh, citrus twist. Now I did also pull from that box these um, thickers. Sorry, <laughs> still haven't gotten you know, still haven't gotten over the brain fog of this illness. Um, the thickers by American Crafts are called Skylar, and it just says create. And I just realized there is a picture of the Cheeky Studio business card in the bottom left of that photo. How fun is that? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I'm just now noticing that while I'm editing this video. That's funny. So I'm going to finish this up. This was a super quick, fun layout. And that's kind of how I've kept this empty box series. I just want to use some of my stash, keep it clean and fresh. And I add some Jenny blue splatters and that is the shimmers product and oh and that flare which is a panda I never thought I'd use it and I've had that in my stash forever it was not in the box but I just thought it was adorable so I think it is from snow and cocoa but or maybe it's sweater weather I don't know ta-ta for now <laughs> bye